okay, hi all. Uh, so let's talk a bit about code quality and how we can handle it. Sometimes there is a question, how do you handle or how do you support your product with high quality or how can you be ensured that your product has a high quality? So one of tools we can use for it to be ensured is SonarCube. SonarCube is a special tool which can be used for checking your code quality for a lot of different features. So let's check what can we use it for. The main goal of SonarCube is to be a part of a CI CD pipeline and you can use it um, on the server. But uh, in the same time you can use it as a local tool. Uh, so what it allows? It allows to detect bugs, uh, different uh, security hotspots, technical debt uh, and uh, other bugs. Also it supports uh, for 15 languages, so, so it's very good. Uh, we need it uh, especially for JavaScript. There are two versions of uh, such program. It's a free community edition and uh, developer edition. You can download it from uh, SonarCube downloads page or what we will do. We will try to use another version. We will try to use uh, Docker. We will try to use Docker. SonarCube Docker. And uh, here. Here we have a docker image for SonarCube. We can copy it and try it in docker. Let's open our... Okay, let's open our terminal and uh, try to install this docker. So, copy past. Uh, so, it will be installed locally. We have docker. Docker works fine. We can check it. It's running. So it will download image. Let's wait for a while. Okay, while downloading, we need to install another tool. What we need, it's a sonar scanner. It's additional tool, tool we, we will use together with sonar on our local machine. And why do we need it for on a local machine? Because sometimes there are issues which we need to, to check, especially on the local machine and uh, to be sure that everything works fine and then we can download it or push to our server. So to download this um, scanner tool we need to find special version for our computer. It's uh, MacOS for example, we will download it and uh, then we'll do what is mentioned here. Okay, so it's download, let's open it. Now we are in this folder which we downloaded and let's do what is mentioned here. We will open config sonar scanner properties. Okay, and what we need to do is update the global config. Let's just uh, uncomment this part and uh, save. The next what we need is add uh, this folder to path. So how can we do it? Okay, what we need, we will copy path and add it to our, we will copy this path and add it to system path. So we will do it by, okay, we will type uh, sudo nano etc path and uh, we will add the additional and we will add additional path to bin folder save it okay and then the, meanwhile our docker docker image is downloaded so we can check docker ts sonar cube is up so let's check it so <clears throat> it works fine it uh, downloaded and started so we need to login click login and enter password and log login and password it's admin admin don't forget it so we successfully logged in so we first what first of all we need to create a new project let's create it test Setup. 
uh, some token the same test generate continue language it will be other because it's uh, javascript uh, they are using mac and uh, here here we have a special command which we need to run we need it run in our folder in our folder where is located our project so let's copy it and uh, let's open our project uh, here in uh, terminal i'm already in my folder so let's check it it's uh, here it's a small react application with a few files and a few components let's try to run it so scanner is started and uh, it will start analyzing our project let's wait for a while okay it's finished uh, execution success let's check after that it automatically will be downloaded and we need just to wait for a while the analysis in the process and after that we have our report so first of all we can see that we have 30 percent of duplication of code yes it's true so we have a code duplication we have 26 uh, duplicated blocks 10 code smells one security hotspot but uh, what we need to double check it's not the best uh, quality um, rules so let's try change quality profiles and uh, we will check javascript we have two profiles sonarway and sonarway recommended i would recommend you to try this one recommended it's much better so we set as default and after that Let's run it again. So it's finished success. Let's check. Check it again. Let's open our project. So what here, what do we see here? Almost the same that maintainability will take seven hours. It's a technical debt. Code smells is 36. Let's check it. Here we can see what the uh, Sonar Cubes recommends us to change to do our code much better. We can check it, we can see the rules, how it works, what we need to replace. Also, we have some security hotspot. Yes maybe we need to change it also it builds some reports shows our code so anyway i would recommend you to take a look on this application and uh, try to use it use it for your own project because sometimes on the interviews uh, interviewer can ask you about different tools which you can use for which you can use for code quality maintaining and one of the best tools you can mention it's uh, sonar cube so try it and uh, have a good time